so far on Balancing Bias. I'm, I'm on this new TV show called The Jack and Triumph Show. I'm going to be on it. Now, if, if I was racist, now, now, would I have done that? Now, 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 now. Put a ring on it, player. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm starting to get auditions quite often. Audition, which is a series regular on the new Netflix show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But the thing is, my aunt is giving birth tomorrow. How about if I get the damn time, I want to stand like that here. It's not gonna be in here, freak. I just told you that. And he can kiss my motherfucking ass. Yeah, I liked it better like that. So right now I'm on my way to acting class. I'm gonna be doing a scene tonight from the movie The Devil's Advocate. <laughs> I'll be performing Al Pacino's role with my scene partner, Melissa. And I told myself that I want to learn how Al Pacino acts. I really want to start studying him. And, you know, I like his style. I like his, his way of acting. And I'm not saying that like, I want to mimic him or like, you know, be like him, but I really feel like I can learn something from him. So, we're gonna see what's up. What do you think? Most people can't handle it. It's peaceful. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So fill me in a little bit about your family. Tell me about your dad. What does he, what does he do? I never got to know my father. He died before I was born. My mother raised me. Just the two of us. She never remarried? She wasn't married the first time. I can't be easy in games, but I don't think it's easy anywhere. Shit. Mm-hmm. It looks a little bit different from up here, doesn't it? Sure it does. So tell me a little bit about your mom. What is she like? She's a preacher's daughter. She's tough. She's been working at the same poultry shop for as long as I can remember. She's up to about 8.50 an hour. She has this church she really likes. She's either there or they go somewhere. They do a lot of volunteer work. Many high places. Great now. But it's the mystery that falls upon me. So never stuck with you, the church, the book. I'm out on parole. Early release for time served. It's a lot of potential clients down there. But at the end of the day, it all flows through the streets. You don't have to sell me on New York. You like New York, don't you? Are we negotiating? Always. So then tell me, why is it that you need a criminal department? Because most of our clients break the law just like everyone else. I'm tired of sending their business across the street. You're offering me a job? I was thinking about it. <laughs> Knew you had the skill. <laughs> Knew that before you even got here. There's other little thing I'm a little bit worried about. And what's that thing? Pressure. Some people are good with pressure. Some people fold. Are you good under pressure? Can you handle a deadline? Can you sleep at night? When do we talk about the money? Mm. Well, is the easy part. Let's see. Pat, <laughs> right, you want me to keep recording? Hey, Hmm? What do you do when you drop something in the hood? What? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, do that again for the camera. <laughs> five second rule. Oh, five second with your hood. Three second way I'm pro. <laughs> Be quick. A lot of really good and interesting things in that scene. Mm -hmm. You want Very to interesting, uh, the dynamic between the two characters, because now it's a female. Mm -hmm. First of all, you look very sexy. 
Um, and the the sexual undertone of it played very well in the scene. I know Tony put that in. I bet right. <laughs> yeah, it worked. It worked for the scene. Um, the use of fourth wall was great from the beginning, which was a really important uh, thing for you to learn, Melissa, as a beginning actor. Patrick, you had a great, great, great entrance. I would have liked to have seen you mix up your beats and actions more. Okay. Meaning, I'm going to come at her like this, now I'm going to come at her like that. Okay. Now I'm going to come at her like this, now I'm going to come at her like that. Okay. Because you, you kind of played the same note, it was a great note, but you kind of played the same note, and you want to try to mix up your tactics. Okay. So, we're going to do something in a second, but okay. let, me, let me keep going. Um, when you go into the thing about your mother making $8.50 an hour and the volunteer work and all that stuff, I think it would have been better if you would have played that with sincerity. Because the thing is, you are not as smart or as clever or as savvy or as evil as him. So you're giving away valuable information to him. And every time she does that, Patrick, that's more ammo for you. Okay. Just like in real life, when we have the dirt on people, mm -hmm. is what gives us power. Okay. When we know what they're about, what motivates them, what makes them click, we know how to come at them. And that's all this scene is. You're trying to find the way to come at her to get her soul. Right. Okay? I loved the part where you were kind of over your shoulder at her, mm -hmm. and you guys had that really fun banter. All of your scenes need more of that sort of, I don't know what you'd call it, like, but you know, just don't be afraid, you know, to, to take those kinds of risks. It's very exciting to watch, as opposed to two people who are scared to get in each other's space. I mean, the theater's, you, you've heard me say it before, the theater's no place to be polite. You know, we want to see you take risks that make us go, you know, and you did that, which is great. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little exercise. You're going to put your back up against the wall, and you're going to put your back up against the Pat, wall. Pat, you want me to keep recording? And we're going to do the ooh-ah. So what is, before we do this, though, let's identify. Your scene objective is to? Get her to be on my side. Right, and, and even, it's the, it, it, and your side is the bad side, right? right? Yes. You're trying to turn her back, <laughs> right? Okay. So here's the thing. Yes. When a person is doing something bad, mm -hmm. something wrong, <coughs> they have a lot of inner monologue going on. They're okay. thinking a lot a shit. Right. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you're just going through life, you're not thinking anything. Mm -hmm. But if you're trying to get somebody to do something, mm -hmm. is it working? Is this gonna, you know, you're thinking a lot of things. All right, now, what's your seat objective? To get a job in New York City. All right, let's try it. All right, so each time you say a line, your ooh, your ah. If the audience says ooh or ah, you take a step. If we don't, you stay right where you are. Okay. Hold on, real quick. Um, my scene objective, yes, but the way that I'm going to come at it might not necessarily be. So I'm going to come at it in a way that I know that he's looking at me and that he's being creepy. And so I'm going to feed off of that and play? Sure. OK. Let's try that. <coughs> so what do you think? Most people can't handle it. Pause. What, what, what can't most people handle, Pat? Can't handle this good shit, this good life. That's what I'm saying. Pat, look at me. Like, this is like, you're rolling fat. Like, right. can she handle that? Right. Take it again. So what do you think? Most people can't handle it. Nope. Okay. It's that good life. 
good shit. What the fuck do you so what do you think? Most people can't have this. Ooh, take a step. It's peaceful. Exactly. Ooh, take a step. One step, don't cheat. <laughs> uh, so fill me in a little bit about your family. Your dad. What does he do? Ooh, take a step. You're winning, Pat. Never got to know my father. He died before I was born. Okay, how does that, what are you trying I, to get? I, yeah, so that's not going to work for me. Because right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that's when I talk about my family in the okay, beginning. Okay, why don't you try this? Why don't you use your hard luck story to try to get him to give you what you want? Okay. Mm. I never got to know my father. He died before I was born. Ah. Yeah, you're going to play the lamb. You're going to play the sweet little lamb. Maybe that'll work. <coughs> All right, Pat. My mother raised me. Just the two of us. Ah. Uh, she never remembered. She wasn't married the first time. Well, that can't be easy in Gainesville. Ooh. I don't think it's easy anywhere. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Looks a lot different from up here, doesn't it? Ooh. So fill me in your mom. What's she like? Pause. Okay, you're both doing great. You're both doing great. But I want you to try a different beat in action. I want you to take a different task now. <coughs> you played that note enough. I want you to take another, a different one. I want you to play the, the beat. I'm your friend. You can tell me anything. Okay. okay. Tell me about your past. Maybe I can help. Okay. Tell me about your mom. So put me in a little bit about your mom. What's she like? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> She's a preacher's daughter. Tough. Ah. She's been working at the same poultry shop for as long as I can remember. She's up to about 8.50 an hour. <clears throat> She's got this church she really likes. She's either there or they go somewhere. They do a lot of volunteer work. Okay, pause. You're both doing great, but I'm going to change the game a little bit because of where you are. So now, you can do the same thing, but you're going to follow each other around in a small circle. And when you're, when you're winning, you're following, and when the other person gains power, they're following, right? Okay. 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 I've been working at the same poultry shop for as long as I can remember. She's up to about 8.50 an hour. Yeah, go. Your turn. Here's a shirt she really likes. She's either there or they go somewhere. They do a lot of volunteer work. Okay, pause. Pause. Great, 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 great. Now, you've got all this information. She's giving you all this information. Going for the kill, Pat. Going for the kill. Many a high places, great pal, but it's mystery that falls upon me. So they say. So it didn't rub off on you? Church. Go after her. Turn around. Go after her. So it didn't rub off on you? Church. Yep. Book. I'm out of girl. Early release time served. Oh, she's bad. She's bad. There's a lot of potential clients down there. But at the end of the day, it all flows through the streets. You don't have to sell me on New York. You like New York, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Are we negotiating? Always. Yes. So then tell me, why is it that you can look for me? Go after it, Melissa. Because most of the clients break the law just like everyone else. Yeah, now you're on the defensive, and Pat. I'm tired of, and I'm tired of sending the business across the street. You offering me a job? I was thinking about it. Right. I knew you had the skills. I knew that before you died. It's not a little thing I'm a little bit worried about. And what's that thing? Good. Crash. Go after her. Can 
you handle it? Some people do. Some people fold. Pause. Stop. Look each other in the eyes. Some people fold. Are you good under pressure? Can you handle it that long? Can you sleep at night? When we talk about the money. Money is the easy part. Put your arm around her, Pat. You said what? Money is the easy part. Right, right, right. Same. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, so, I just want you to cut at her different ways. Okay. Which you did show some new colors okay. this time. I don't know if it's because the movement <clears throat> or what, okay. but it worked. There was some, some of it was humorous, some of it was menacing, some of it was clever, some of it was obvious, and you played well with him. You played well with him. Um, I liked the scene. Do you have any questions about it? Please watch some of our previous videos. Also like, share, and subscribe.